Hey everybody, how's it going and welcome to the first episode of my Road to 99 series. So this series is going to be all about my quest to getting a 99, something which I've never done in Old School RuneScape or in RuneScape 3. So I was originally doing a Slayer Only Iron Man series and while it was fun in the beginning, I just wasn't having any fun later on because I wasn't getting any new gear. The tasks were becoming really difficult, like where I could maybe kill one or two monsters, then I'd have to go get more food more uh, potions, whatever, you know, doesn't really matter. But I found the idea of getting a 99 really interesting because it's something I've never done before and something I think I've kind of always regretted not doing in RuneScape. So I figured um, why not go ahead and start a series since I've already started uploading um, RuneScape videos. I figured why not start a series all about getting a 99. So when it came to picking a skill, I had a couple different things, a couple different criteria that I had to meet. Uh, one thing, it had to be a skill that I enjoyed. There's a lot of skills in RuneScape that I don't really enjoy that much. Um, but there's a few that I really do like. So I narrowed my skill choices down to three different skills. The first one was fishing, second one was crafting, and the third one was cooking. So I chose not to do fishing because it seems to be kind of like my go-to skiller skill, a uh, non-combat skill that I always train. And I just feel like it'd be it, it would wind up getting really boring for me in the later levels, um, so I chose not to go with that one. Then there was crafting, but I already have a crafting ult, and so I decided that I didn't really want to do crafting again, because if I really wanted to do crafting, I could just go hop on that account and, and play it some more. So then the last choice I came to was cooking. So cooking is a kind of an interesting skill. There's a lot of different ways that you can train it. You could uh, make wines, you could cook fish, you could cook, you know, there's so many different things you could do to level up cooking. And I think that's one of the thing, one of the major reasons why I really, I chose to do that skill over every other skill in RuneScape. You might be wondering why I didn't consider any pay to place, any pay to play skills, even though this account is a member's account. Well, I chose not to choose any pay-to-play skills because I only have membership for a month on here right now. And the reason I only buy it like a month at a time is because I'm really inconsistent when I play. So there'll be long stretches where I'll play for, you know, I'll play it a lot. I'll play like every day or I'll get really into a certain account. And then there'll be long periods of time where I don't play, like maybe a month, two months. So it just feels I don't want to waste the money on membership when I'm not even going to be playing. So... I chose a free-to-play skill because that way, even if I've stopped paying for membership or, you know, when I decide to stop paying for membership, um, I can go ahead and still train and still do videos even though we're on free-to-play. And the other bonus of doing cooking is that technically the fastest um, method for training cooking is a free-to-play method. So we can still do wines in free-to-play. It will just be a little bit harder for us to make money. So with all that being said, we can just, uh, I'm currently, we're going through Tutorial Island, and once we make it to the main island, we have a few different objectives that I'm trying to hit. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is obviously we're going to be doing the Cook's Assistant quest. That'll get us to level 4 cooking, I think. And then from there, we're probably going to head over to Chickens on Free-to-Play Worlds, because uh, that's a good way to train cooking if people don't know. You know, nobody ever picks up the chicken, the raw chicken, so you can just pick it up off the ground, go into the little farmer's hut, and you can cook it right there. Um, but outside of that, I'm definitely going to try to do all the cooking quests. So that's like Recipe for Disaster. Um, but the main quest that we're going to be working towards is the Family Crest quest, or is Family Crest. Um, you get the cooking gauntlets from doing that quest. Uh, we have four... Uh, skill requirements that we have to meet that's 40 mining 40 crafting 40 smithing and 59 magic now i don't know if some of the non-combat skills like mining cooking or mining crafting and smithing um if those can be bypassed but they're only on there because they're requirements and if you're an iron man you have to do them but we're going to go ahead and get those skills anyway i mean 40 smithing is easy that's knight sword and then training and then doing some steel and cannonballs which will make us some pretty good profit because we're members uh, 40 mining and 59 magic is probably going to be the hardest. Crafting is easy. You could do um, the Dwarf's Cannon Quest gets you to level 7 crafting. And then you do a couple of leather items. You get to 8. And then you do gold amulets, which again will make you profit uh, to 40. 59 magic and 40 mining will be a little bit difficult. Um, mining, we're probably going to train at Yanil or Yanil. I don't actually know how it's pronounced, but... There's a little mining area, and you can run right to a bank. It's really quick, really simple, really easy. 
which uh, is perfect. I don't really plan to train any other any of those skills past what's required for the Family Crest quest. Um, magic may be the only skill we do train higher. I mean, 59 is pretty high for magic. I think that gets us all the teleports that we might need in free to well free to play magic caps at 37. I think uh, with the Falador teleport. I think. I think that's the last one you get. But either way, we're going to have to get 59 magic. Might as well make it 60 at that point. I don't really know how we're going to train that. Um, but we'll see when we get when we get to that point. Um, but with that being said, let's, uh, let's hop into... And I'll just play some music for the rest of the tutorial island, and then we'll get on to the mainland. Alright guys, so we made it to Lumbridge, and right now we're currently starting the Cook's Assistant quest. Shouldn't take us more than five minutes, all we gotta do is gather the materials, and you can find them all within Lumbridge, so it'll be pretty quick. But once we're done doing the Cook's Assistant quest, that should get us to four cooking, and then I think from there we're gonna wind up going over to Chickens and training our cooking there for a little bit. Alright guys, so we just finished talking to the cook, and now we're going to go up to the bank and deposit all of the extra items from our uh, starting items into our bank. And then once we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and go get the eggs, flour, and milk that we need to complete the cook's assistant quest. And then we're going to finish that, and I think that might be the end of the video. Um, next video, we're probably going to wind up going to chickens and doing a couple other things, starting out our... Um, skilling for the family crest quest requirements.
All right, guys, so we got our first random event, and luckily for us, it's uh, Freaky Forester, um, which I consider one of the rare random events in RuneScape. Now, it used to be pretty uncommon back in the day when there was a lot more random events that you could get, like the uh, the troll, the, the axe head coming off, um, the pickaxe. I think there was one where the pickaxe head would come off of the handle. Um, there was a ton, a ton of random events back in the day and um this one was pretty rare so i always enjoy when i get it because i think that the pieces of clothing that you get from this event are really cool i just love the whole like later hosen look um so it seems like every time i have this event it makes me kill the four-tailed pheasant which i'm not really sure why but i guess i just get like really lucky or something but i think for pieces of clothing i'm hoping for the pants or the hat and we got the shirt which is okay I, I don't think it looks as good because i chose the cream colored pants but either way it's still going to be nice to have it for when we're uh, skilling and training cooking so we're getting the last ingredient for the cook's assistant quest and now that we have the egg flour and milk we're just going to go ahead and go back to lumbridge and finish the quest Alright guys, we're back here in Lumbridge, and we're about to get our first quest points along with 300 cooking XP. Alright, we're just handing them over all of our items. Alrighty, there you go. We got one quest point along with 300 cooking XP. That's giving us four cooking, which is going to four levels. We only got uh, 95 more of those to go before we get 99. And uh, I believe that'll end it for this video. Alright guys, so that wraps up the very first episode of my Road to 99 cooking series. And next episode, like I said, we're going to head over to chickens and start training cooking. And then also go ahead and start working on some of those skill requirements for the Family Crest Quest. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And if you want to, go ahead and subscribe for whenever I release more content. And just again, thank you guys for watching and have a great day.